Hello, hello, hello. Welcome for another episode of Alter Spotlight. Hey, it's your host with the most, your main man, Darren M. Palmer. I'm excited with, to be with you where I go behind the scenes with best-selling authors from around the globe. But we have a special edition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The ladies have taken over Alter Spotlight for Visionistas Conference 2021. Today, I got my girl, Jamie, in the building. Say hello to the people, Jamie. Hi, everyone. Jamie, <laughs> if you don't mind, Jamie, you are a part of this amazing group of women who are coming together to share that women can collaborate. We don't have to have that competitive spirit. They don't have to have the competitive spirit. They're able to think outside of the box. So before we go into that portion of it, share with us a little bit about the information will be in the show notes for those who are here and listening, but share a little bit about who you are, some of the things that you do uh, as far as business and some things that you're into in just your personal life. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for letting me be here. It really is an honor to just co-create with a bunch of super inspiring and amazing women. Um, I love what you said about women not having to compete with each other because that's exactly it. I think we're evolving into a brand new world where Um, yeah, there is an opportunity for women to get more connected with each other and co-create. So it really is an honor and a blessing to be here. So thank you for the, for that. Um, So about me, I mean, I specialize in inner child work. And so how I like to say that is I blend practical and spiritual tools to have women specifically be so connected to that little girl that's inside of us all. And 75 plus percent of the time, every single human being, regardless of their age, has their inner child running the show. And that might manifest as like, you know, emotional tantrums, which I like to call it sometimes, which is, you know, like being whiny or bratty or, or, or even wanting to be in control, being in control over something or, um, you know, being upset over something very easily can manifest itself in that way. Or the other side of that is the inner child being so playful and joyful and at ease and expressive, like dancing, like nobody's watching kind of experience. And so my job and my role in our world, Darren, is for women to embody their inner child, to honor all aspects of that, and to be nurturing and nourishing and giving that little girl inside of us all the love that they may not have gotten as a child. And uh, and so, yeah, I love this work. I love what I get to do. It's It just, like, it fuels me. I'm so passionate about it. Um, for the past five years, I had a permanent makeup business in San Diego and it was pretty successful. I trained women from all different parts of the country to create their own businesses in that realm. But a few years ago, I, I really got present to that. I care about, you know, empowering people for their insides instead of their outsides And uh, so I really started taking action on that a few years ago um, and developed this program with a bunch of people who are very skilled at developing, you know, transformative programs and um, created a special methodology called the inner child awakening method. And, uh, and yeah, I kind of rambled on for, you know, several moments, but, but that's a little bit about me. And now I live in Texas. I'm born and raised in San Diego. Now I live in Texas. I'm a Texan. I'm a Texan now. <laughs> well, well, hee-haw, y'all. We want to just welcome you to Texas. Say howdy to you. You know, I wish I had my hat. I'd tip my hat to you. I didn't ride my horse today. I didn't ride my horse today, but you, you understand where we're going with this. But I, I just want to explore a little bit. Uh, like, Dora, I want to go into the focus <laughs> of what you're bringing about, because I think this is something important in our world that you brought up, Jamie, of that inner child and how we are utilizing it. And so if you don't mind, let's tap into that a little bit. What yeah. are what are some things that we can bring it more into our conscious or mm. our, get awareness of so we can gauge to see how's that inner child being utilized in our life? Is it the emotional yeah. temp- temper tantrums? Is it the control over those who are your colleagues and your peers? 
Is it you yeah. trying to run everything when it comes to family gatherings and get togethers because you're still the big sister and you know that's that's who you are, even though everyone's grown now and they might even yeah. be married or have a significant other and you're still trying to control everything because you still have that in your mind as your identity. So what are two or three things that those who are listening to this can do to be more aware of something that might be subconscious that they're doing habitual that they are not even aware of to dictate how they move forward? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think it's it's all of those things. All of those things are different manifestations of the inner child. And it's a different expression for everybody because we all had different childhoods. Um, but something to like be aware of, to know when your inner child is running the show, is if you're experiencing any kind of discomfort or any kind of aggravation, any kind of irritation, any kind of negative, quote unquote, emotion, you want to tap into that and treat that emotion as if it's a child. So if, if I'm experiencing, for example, anger, I'm really angry about something. If it was a child that was very angry about something, I wouldn't be, you know, trying to be angry back at them. I would ask them, okay, like, I get it. You're really upset. What do you need right now? What do you need? And asking that emotion, what it needs so that I, as the nurturer, as the adult in that dynamic, can do something about it. So that, and, and a lot of the times, what it comes down to is two things. It's a lack of feeling loved or a lack of feeling safe. So when, when the inner child doesn't feel loved or doesn't feel safe, that's when it will throw these kind of emotional tantrums. So, um, those are the two things that the inner child really needs. Just to know that it's loved, to know that it's safe. And you can have one or the other, but it's important for that inner child to have both at the same time. On a consistent... <laughs> no, I'm gonna cut you off. I just, you just hit me with some fire there, girl. I had to holler out. I had to holler out. But, but you can finish your thought. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that was pretty much it. It was perfect timing, actually. Um, but yeah, that that's what the inner child needs just to know it's love, to know it's safe. Um, and when the inner child feels that and knows that on a, on an energetic level, on a cellular level, when the nervous system recognizes I'm safe and I'm so loved unconditionally, that inner child can just go play and create and have fun and not take life so seriously. And just like be a kid in life. We're all just kids and big people's bodies and i'm five feet tall so i'm still in a small body <laughs> yeah, here, I was, here, here i was thinking you was 510 girl you i'm telling you <laughs> i'll tell you the camera threw some height to you the camera did, it, did some height. it really did i got the right <laughs> angle here <laughs> now, when you look at you know that negative emotion for those who are looking at this and we look at the lack of love or or feeling safe and having a dual approach uh, one of the things that I've been able to look at and, and how I word it is vibrating over a situation. Mm. And for those who are tuned into this, so what Jamie brought up was profound because uh, when someone is having a moment, realizing and taking a role as you've been an adult, and this is not to belittle anybody, but that person right. has a child. Yeah. And I think the lens that we look from determines the emotion and the reaction. So we're not reacting, we are responding. Yes. So that was a response that we hear from Jamie where she goes into, okay, what do you need right now? Yeah. A reaction is, who the hell you think you are? And how, <laughs> you know, all that going on. So now what you do is you create a situation to be this more dysfunctional, toxic, you're building upon it. You're adding to the safety, not being there. Uh, you're adding to the feeling of not being loved there. Um, yeah. Some things are shared there out of anger. That's not really how you feel, but that I got you. I'm going to get you back because what you did yeah. to me, how you make me feel. And so one has, my, my mom would, uh, my mom says this, uh, someone has to be an adult. Someone yeah. has to be responsible. So it's really not about who's right because you can be right and wrong. Yeah. So if you don't know how to respond to someone, 
especially someone who you care about love, or even if it's a team member for business owners who are listening to this, even for ladies out there, whatnot, if you uh, with your sisters or those who you grew up with, or you're in a work environment, these are areas that you can utilize and be a woman who think outside of the box or a man who think outside the box by considering someone else and understanding, hey, what do I look like arguing with a child? Let that sit there and marinate like a good T-bone steak. You know, <laughs> what does that look like for me to be arguing and fighting with a child? Yeah. And so when someone is having that emotional moment or whatnot, you know, quote unquote negative emotion, that's what I believe that Jamie is sharing here with us is take time to realize I don't have to react. I have a choice. I can respond. And when I take time to focus on that love and that safety, then they are able to open up. Most of the time people can come back and apologize to you for it, but you can wedge or create a gulf because you don't know how to respond instead of react. Do you agree with that, Jamie? Yeah, 100%. And I think it's it's both aspects. It's definitely in conversation and communication with other people and also with the relationship with we have that we have with ourselves. So like if I'm angry, I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, stop being so mad. Why are you so mad right now? Stop complaining about this. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to ask this girl, this little girl inside of me, hey, what do you need? And it's really fascinating because if we could actually take the time to listen, and this goes both ways with the person inside and people outside, if we take the time to listen, to pause, that inner child, be it from another person or here with us, will respond. Like, I just need love right now. I just, I just need a hug or I just need to eat, you know, or whatever it is. And, and I've noticed that like, even with Taj and our relationship, if my inner child is out, he knows to ask me like, Hey, how can I support you right now? What do you need right now? And then he'll wait. He won't be like, oh my God, why are you being this way or whatever? And I, I will be like, okay, what do I need? And then I'll ask this inner child in here, hey, what do you need? And she'll say, I just need a hug or I just need to sleep. I'm exhausted or I'm so hungry. I just need to eat and then I'll be okay. And they're usually just these fundamental basic needs. It's not like I need a million dollars. It's like, I need love. I need food. I need sleep. I need a hug whatever it is. And, and it's just holding that space for the inner child that's within us all to feel safe and loved and, and heard. Hmm. I, I love that. And you know, Jamie, when you speak of that, I, I'm hearing um, being intentional, mm -hmm. being intentional with that, uh, whether it's you or Todd, your other relationships, being intentional. So for those who are listening to this, I want you to think about it. that's why we want the Jamie to share some of these things as far as how can you be aware of it. So now you can start taking the steps to create boundaries and an action plan. So when this does arise or you having the deal with this and you can respond correctly instead of react that you are intentional. So yeah. those triggers or those safe places or safe words that or safe phrases or sentences that you can add or questions that can be asked can be the difference between life or death. It can be the difference between having a relationship or not having a relationship. It can be the difference between having plenty or having lack. All those areas of being in health or not being in health. So I want us just to make sure that we take this serious. And speaking of being intentional, if you don't mind, share with us a little bit of what your career, the things that you're doing as an entrepreneur, moving, relationship, the whole nine. Why did you join Visionistas 2021? What, what, what was the deciding factor that made you go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to create content for this project? Yeah, it's such a great question. Well, for one, being able to be in a co-created project with other inspiring women was like, I'm all in on that. I love collaborating. And I, I'm very grounded in the fact that like the big things that I want to accomplish, I can't do it on my own. It'd be physically impossible. I don't have enough hands, enough brain, enough body for all of that. It, the, the big things that I'm up to, I need to connect with other people. I need to have a team to, to have the impact, the reach that I'm committed to in the world. 
And I think there's a lot of us, especially entrepreneurs, like I have been self-employed for the past five years. My business, my brick and mortar business that I had in San Diego, I did it mostly on my own, which is why, yes, it was successful. Yes, I made you know money that I never thought I could make doing that, but it could have been so much greater if I had welcomed in a team, if I had welcomed in collaboration and connection with other powerful women, every single woman has the capacity to be an extremely, extraordinarily powerful woman. It's not just like, oh, this one woman's very powerful and that one woman's very powerful. Every single human being has the capacity, the ability to do that. It's our birthright. We're here. <laughs> and so, yes, it was, I, I really wanted to step into collaboration, connection with other women. This was an amazing opportunity to do that. Um, the book, me being in the book, it would get into the hands of somebody that I would never connect with because of the other women that's in it. My story, the, the, the codes, the gems that I have as an individual are able to be in the hands of someone else that otherwise would never be, or maybe, but not right now. <laughs> So, yeah, it was just a, a yes all around for me. You know, Jamie, I mean, definitely you dropped us with some gems there. And that's the importance of collaboration and the power of partnership. For those out there, and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I don't know if it's a hindrance and it's keeping you from moving forward. I don't know if anybody will read it. Well, mm -hmm. if you got several other people that you're a part of the project, sure, they're going to have a family member or someone read their chapter. And while they're already there, might as well read the rest of the book and hear and see what else in there and someone can find out about you too as well so i just think that's important and also the networking now yeah. you got access to people that you have this moment forever you know yeah. where you connected to someone because you created this archive um that will go throughout history that can outlive us uh because of the content that was created together that people are able to go back and look at and explore it can be someone great great grandkids going back and looking at whoa this chapter with jamie this was amazing who was this woman and go back and be able to find things about you the same way that we look at individuals like a madam cj walker or, or a rockefeller and others who are amazing when we look at you know um you know different books whether this someone with a story like oprah winfrey or whatnot and her trials and tribulations if we look at someone in, in mexico with a carlos slim the list goes on. So the same way that we look at this information with Jamie is moving forward and transcending going into generations to come because of the content that's created. I think that's phenomenal for you to be able to think outside the box like that, uh, Jamie, and to be a part of something uh, in this manner. Now, I know for some of the of you all who are listening and wondering, I want to make sure, Jamie, we'll have this information in the show notes, but please share with them. How can they connect with you? Like there are others yeah. who say, yeah, I heard a few nuggets, but I want to deep dive. How can I have an exploratory <laughs> call? How can I follow her? How can I get more content? You know, please share that information now, if you don't mind. Definitely. The best way is Instagram. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Clubhouse sometimes, but best way is Instagram. Um, and my Instagram is at Jamie, J-A-I-M-I-E, Lindquist. It's kind of long. Okay. Hey, you guys, L-I-N-D-Q-U-I-S-T. And of course, check the show notes for, for those details. But I'd love to be connected to you. If you're watching this, if you've gotten this far, at least one part of this resonated with you. And I'm a resource for you, nonetheless, whatever you need. Well, this has been an amazing show. We want all of you who are listening to this to make sure that you go and register at self publish the letter in 30 dayscom forward slash events. <laughs> Make sure that you connect with us March 20th. The ladies will be in the building. They have kicked me out. Yes. I won't even be <laughs> the host. The ladies have taken over. My wife and the rest of the team, they've taken over. The ladies from around the world are a part of this. And also the first edition of Visionistas. We have women from Chile, from women to Canada, and different parts of the world, from the South, from the West Coast that are a part of this project who are joining together. As soon as we can get this COVID thing somewhat wrapped up, we will be having an event. I believe it's gonna be possibly in Miami because I need to work on my tan. <laughs> that we will be having a Vision Nisa's event to bring all the women together who have been a part of the various 
Visionistas editions. And also for those who are saying, I would love to be a part of something like this. We welcome you to sign up and be a part of the third edition of Visionistas or whatnot, of women who think outside the box. So it's an ongoing series of amazing women who are partnering together and it's creating community. Some of the things that Jamie yeah. brought up earlier. But before we get out of here, Jamie, talk to that person right now who's thinking to themselves, it makes sense with Jamie. She has an amazing relationship. She's brilliant. She's beautiful. She has businesses. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm there. I'm going mm -hmm. through a tough time. I'm, I'm trying this. I'm trying that. It seems like things aren't working. What can you share with that person of the importance? And they say, I want to share my story, but I don't yeah. know if I'm important. I don't know if I'm accomplished mm -hmm. or not enough to do it. Can you share with that person the importance of why they still should share their story with the world? Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked that question. The, the reality is that every single human being brings something unique and different to the table. So what I bring to the table is obviously very different than what Darren brings to the table. What Darren brings to the table is different from what anybody else brings to the table. And it is our divine birthright to express our unique gifts. It's just, it's just what it is. It's our divine responsibility to do that, to whether you're religious or spiritual or not, it's, it is your divine birthright to do that. And wherever you're at in your journey is perfect. Wherever you're at right now is perfect and is exactly where you need to be right now. And you are honored. Wherever you are, whoever you are listening to this, you are so honored and I honor you. And uh, I hope to read your story somehow or hear your story somehow. <laughs> this is amazing. This is an amazing event. I, I, I thank you so much, Jamie, for coming in and adding value. And Jamie, we got to get you to share more about this on some of our other events I would uh, love as to. well, where you can do more of a deep dive. I think it's important, yes. this message you have, because most people were not aware. I know mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of it back in the day. And, and it was here recently, I think it was like in 2020 that I actually even became aware of it. So this is like the <laughs> reason with me, I knew certain things, but what yes. you're talking about is quite a bit of people out here who aren't aware of it. They have right. no clue. And when you say like, oh, that does make sense. Oh, that's why I like this. Or I can see that's why my child or that's what my husband or that's <laughs> what my sister is going through. And now I know how to be able to deal with that situation. And I'm telling you, for those who are listening, and I want you to reach out to Jamie, and I'm just giving somewhat of a, my thoughts or whatnot on this, is that it changed everything in my life when I was able to be aware, because I wasn't able to, I was not limited to just myself, yeah. but I knew how to view it in my wife. I knew mm -hmm. how to look at it with my children. It allowed for me to be a better business owner, uh, owner to be able to yeah. better serve the people that I worked with in and whether it's a nonprofit or church or whatever the thing is, I'm able to be under political environment. I wasn't stressed because I was able to understand, oh, that's, this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. You need to respond and not react. I get it. I see why this person is feeling this way. They don't have that safety. They don't have that love. But right. when I like to bring that to them, now the dialogue is different because I didn't allow their not understanding and not having awareness to dictate who I am, because I am the master of my circumstances. Mm -hmm. I have dominion and power. Awesome. And that power is not physical boom, boom, boom. No, mm -hmm. it's being at peace, being yeah. grounded in who you are. So now you have an overflow that can pour that love into others because you know that it's about a collective effort. It's not about you right, I'm wrong. It's about how can we move in harmony together. So Jamie, yeah. thank you so much for coming on, girl. You, you rocked know. it out today. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Darren. Awesome, Thanks, Darren. awesome. For those who are here, remember that if you won't change, be the change. Until next time, be blessed, be great. And remember, this is the year for your new book. Yes, it is. <laughs>